coming up. So when the president makes a big decision like he did today, why in the world would he announce that on Twitter? Let's talk about that, y'all. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. I'm Tony Fox, Angelia, Henny, and Girls Gone Green founder Julie Watkins on the panel today. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey, happy hey. Wednesday, everybody. Oh, happy Greetings. Wednesday. So, I have spider day. drama on my way here today. Oh, in the car? Oh. Yeah, I go to get in my uh, Jeep, and there's a spider. And, like, to me, it might as well have been this big. I mean, it wasn't. <laughs> but I freak out, and I run in the condo, and I'm like, yelling at my boy. Oh, oh, yes. So what I yell at my boyfriend to go get the spider, and then he can't find it. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't do this. I can't drive. I can't drive to TV. I can't do this. It was in the driver's side. Now you know it's in there. And yeah. then so I go back, and I'm like, okay, you just have to do it. You just have to do it. Over and a then, spider. Yes. And he's, like, saying to me, you're acting like it's a snake. And I said, it might as well be a snake. So then I go back, and it came out again, and I killed it. Oh, no. Oh, so I was no. able to come to work today. <laughs> so you should not have any now stress right function. now. You can, you, right, right. But let me now. tell you, you didn't want me on the road knowing People there was have a spider. People I know. Trying I to wrecked. kill their spiders, though, yeah. Okay, but the spider's dead. You're okay. Sorry, Julie, the spider's dead. But you're okay. That's all that matters. <laughs> Cover your ears. <laughs> I've done that with a bee before. Bees. I put right. plants in the back of my car, and they had bees in it, and bees oh, no. took over my entire oh, car. No. And I'm allergic to bees, so I freak out. I'm driving erratically. So I understand. I can relate. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to talk about all the fun stuff we're going to talk about besides spiders. We're talking about President Trump's announcement today. Transgender people will no longer be allowed to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. Trump tweeted that transgenders will no longer be allowed to serve because, quote, the U.S. military must be focused on decisive and overwhelming victory and cannot be burdened with the tremendous medical costs and disruption the transgender in the military would entail. The decision is a complete reversal of President Obama's policy established last year to allow transgender troops to serve openly. All right, so he just went on Twitter, uh, according to reports. Yeah. He basically didn't tell anyone. No one knew he was going to do this. Mm -hmm. Boom, just goes on Twitter. What do we think about this? Mm -hmm. Does he realize that Twitter is not where you make your policies? No, like that I don't think so. Make them no. go in effect right away at <laughs> that point. So. Yeah, I don't know. He just—it just sounds like he would have been very thoughtful to people that are serving currently and overseas yes, or in combat, yes, yes. and not put him in such a position mm -hmm. to just outright say you're no longer welcome here. And then they're probably at a loss of you know well, what to do. Yes, for there. sure. About the only thing he didn't say was get out. Just inconsiderate. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I have to. I have to point to especially one thing that Trump said today, uh, because he, he made uh, the comment in Twitter that I just read uh, that, um, that it is a tremendous financial burden. All right. Well, let's look at those numbers, shall break we? Break it down, Tony. Break let's it down. Let's break, break it down, shall we? All right. <laughs> break the it down. Defense Department last year commissioned a study that was done by the RAND Corporation. All mm. right. So the RAND Corporation estimated that gender transition related medical treatment, which what Trump is pointing to, mm -hmm. would cost the military between 2.4 million and 8.4 million a year. That sounds a lot. That is a yeah, lot. Yeah, it money. does. Okay. You're All in right. the millions at that point. So let's remember that. Military spending on Viagra. Any guesses <laughs> as to what that was? Any guesses? Ooh. And 20, only 20 million. 41.6. Wow. I'll do the math so you don't have to. <laughs> that is five times more than what was spent completely wow. on transgender well, we'll see what his priorities now, are. Now, hold on, we're not done yet. Because total spending mm -hmm. on dysfunction medicines for men only, mm -hmm. $84 million. Wow. That is 10 times yeah. more mm -hmm. than the big burden wow. that transgender puts on the military. And that's So for him to say that, mm -hmm. Once again, is a big fat lie. <laughs> He's lying again. Uh -huh. Imagine that. I mean, those are bottom line numbers. Yeah. Black, white numbers. That puts it in perspective. And that's what I, yes. And that's what I was hoping would be done when he said, you know, that yes. military spending's too much or it's too cumbersome for personnel to get involved yeah. and whatever it is that, mm -hmm. you know, that he thinks that their one, needs are. One more statistic. That, that is what we have to look at. One more statistic. When you uh, figure out the percentage of the military budget that goes to transgender medical care, it is one thousandth of oh, wow. one percent. Mm -hmm. 
So, by the way, tell me what a tremendous burden they are now when Viagra spending, just Viagra, is five times more. Is more, right. Okay. And why isn't that on his radar? I'm sure he has his, his reasons for doing it. He talked to his military um, generals. He, he talked to everybody, all the military experts and generals. So I'm sure he has reasons for doing it. So whatever he put out and tweeted may not actually be the, the full story. It's not the truth. It seems to be politics in the U.S. We don't really know what the real reason is behind everything. So that, and that, that's my problem with what him. That is, but and that's my problem with him. If that's not the reason, that's fine. But don't lie and then say it's because of financial burden. Mm -hmm. Then tell me it's for whatever other reason, but don't yeah. say it's this when obviously the numbers say mm -hmm. something else. Mm -hmm. Welcome so. to Washington. <laughs> All right, um, I'm, gonna give, I'm gonna read actually a couple of points of view that we had on our chat's Facebook page, and there are three different points of view. Pretty interesting. DeClan said, I'm in support of the decision because it's unreasonable to expect the military to foot the bill for elective treatment. Well, what's Viagra? Okay, right. well. Uh, that's Declan. Right. That's his idea. So that's he. David says, I have a transgender grandchild who actually served as an MP in the Army and saved lives. I think this is shameful and disgraceful. Shame on the narrow-minded among you. And then lastly, Nick. Nick says, as long as you're mentally and physically able to, to defend our nation, mm -hmm. you should be permi permi permitted rather, mm -hmm. in the military. So there's three different ideas, and I'm sure someone and everyone falls into one of those categories, because we mm. all do. Well, speaking of category, I have another one I want to talk about, the latest victim to be Trumpized. I'm talking model Chrissy Teigen, you know, John Legend's wife. She was actually blocked from seeing the president's Twitter page. Ooh, she shared this on social media yesterday. It was the message letting her know that she had been blocked by, don't come back here, uh-uh. She is now <laughs> part of a self-proclaimed club of people that is blocked by the president. Stephen King, actress Marina Seritz, writer Bess Kalb, and songwriter Holly O'Reilly are just a few of others who have recently been blocked. But it's not just the rich and famous being blocked, honey, uh-uh. There's been seven other Twitter users are, that's also being sued over the blocking saying the action violates their First Amendment rights and that it is unconstitutional. Hmm. So unconstitutional, <laughs> some people are making a joke out of it. I mean, on Twitter, this whole Chrissy Teigen oh, yeah, thing, yeah. they are laughing at, not at Chrissy, but they're actually laughing at the president. Right, mm -hmm. right. And how... I mean, Chris is probably laughing too, knowing her personality. Yeah. Oh, she you already know she is. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. gonna be a badge of honor having that. Though. I know that's <laughs> the real Donald Trump. Depends so. on They're who you are. Proud, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think it's, I, I, everyone has this though. I mean, a lot of the celebrities. I mean, they have to deal with. I mean, everybody pretty much on social media these days. Even if you're in just high school or college, you have some bullying to some manner. So it's sad to be on the other side. And there was one that I actually read. It was with J.K. Rowling. You know, the one, the oh, author yeah. of. I mean, everybody knows the author of the book. <laughs> Of, of Harry Potter and I, I thought hers was actually pretty good because she's a fabulous writer mm -hmm. so when they start coming after her she does exactly the same thing but sure. she roasts them before she yeah. does it so there was one that said so glad I caught this article on Yahoo about you I will now burn your books and your movies too so JK Rowling's response yeah. was well the fumes from DVDs are toxic <laughs> and I still got your money and by Ooh. the way I'll just let you borrow my lighter so no, that's hilarious. she roasts them and yeah. then she blocks them. Yeah. So I think maybe Trump needs to do the same thing. He needs to roast them and then block them, well, not I find, just block. Um, I do <laughs> find the whole possibility that it could be unconstitutional mm -hmm. uh, very interesting. Yeah. I mean, I wonder, you know, because I get where they're going with that. Um, I mean, there was one congressman or a senator or somebody who uh, was trying is trying to get uh, the tweets by Trump, as crazy as it sounds, uh, and as crazy as they are, um, that to be preserved as part of a presidential record because he is the president. Sure. He is saying these statements. So I think that goes along with that. So I, I wonder if there's going to be any substance to this whole mm -hmm constitutional issue or not. I don't know, I don't and I say know. that only because it's on it's it's the president's or anyone for that matter. Whichever celebrity, whichever person it is, if it's me or you, it's my Twitter page. And if I don't want you coming there But he's the president, right. so that gives it a little Does he have more, a different set of rules? Well he, he is the government. And the government cannot censor the you know when you when people say, Oh free speech, I can tell off my boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah you can yeah, and yeah. he can fire you. Yeah. But where free speech does come into effect is the government. So I can stand up and I can be on this program and say Trump is a lawyer, a liar, mm -hmm. and he can't come and arrest me or throw me out of the country. But he can so block you. He, he can block, we think he can right. block you. They're trying so to say a, that it's, a whole it's new the level. government 
and that is free speech. I, but I don't know. I don't know. But if now, that's... but he's blocking people from now seeing some of the, you know, policies or decisions or any of his opinions that he has. And you know, that's 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 our leader, um, whether we elected him or not. And we have a right to know what he's thinking and what that's he's what planning they're and plotting. That's what and they're saying. And I was just thinking, if you look at that at a local level, can you imagine if you know one of our local councilmen or our mayor, you know, started blocking people? Um, I, I think that there would be a huge outcry on that. So I think it's fair. I don't think it's unconstitutional. It. I think it's fair. Yeah. I think everybody has thick skin to a degree, and it doesn't matter who you are. Those things are absorbed, and I don't think that it's something that everybody needs to, to actually read on a daily but basis. But he is the so president. So I, so I, don't I, don't, I don't think it's don't unconstitutional. Know. But we'll see what happens. We'll see. I know. I'm, I'm very interested to see the outcome <laughs> We'll see of if that, there's a so. lawsuit. All right. Well, in lighter news today, another America's Got Talent contestant has earned the golden buzzer. Yay. Take a look. I don't look up with strangers, no. I got less and respect, yeah. I don't care what they say, keeping it real, kind of like an acapella. Acapella, uh, acapella, acapella, uh, acapella. Superstar. That was uh, guest DJ Khaled, oh, guest you gotta say judge. Right. <laughs> DJ That's right, Khaled. Khaled. Guest judge, it's a guest DJ, but he was the guest judge last night. They've been doing that lately, the guest judges, and they always get a buzzer. So he gave it to that 21-year-old Chase Goring. Uh, now, it wouldn't be the only time that Caleb pressed the button. He tried to a second time. You can only get one, uh, but he tried to a second time after he saw this wonderful contestant, Yoli Mare. Oh, yeah, he wow. tried. Woo. After receiving a standing ovation from all the judges, the judges, DJ Kelly <laughs> <laughs> joked that he wished he could press the golden buzzer again, but he used it up. So, hey, you're a big fan of the show. I am. Did you see last night and see? I you did. Yeah. I did. It, like I it was did. great. It, it was a great show, and I will tell you, there is so much amazing talent. These young yes. kids. I mean, the, the gentleman, um, I call him Ian Gallagher from Shameless, because he looks just <laughs> like Ian. He was fantastic. Yeah. He, he wrote his own song. It was an original wow. song that he wrote. He sung it, and uh, I, it, it was great. But when I heard... Um, Yoli? Yoli. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be so honest. I was in the bathroom. Um, doing some things, but not what y'all think it is. <laughs> when I heard her, I had to, uh, cleaning, I had to actually drop what I was doing yeah. and run in to see who in the world was that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She is amazing, and like Simon told her last night, I don't think you understand what you're capable of, because she was so surprised that she got the standing ovation from every single judge and left them just like, what just happened? Mm -hmm. Mark my word, today, that is your winner of America's Got Talent. Now, do you think if she had been first uh, instead yes. of the other video, he would have hit because the golden buzzer? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't get so me wrong. Too, yeah. I mean, when I saw him last night, I just turned it on and I didn't think he was that great. Yeah. Yeah. But then everybody else was on board and then I was like, oh, yeah, I really like him. <laughs> uh -huh. I, he kind of grew on me. Uh -huh. yeah. But when I first heard him, I was like, yeah, he's kind of talented. And yeah. then you see his age and then you know his story. And then yeah. you and hear that, that he wrote yes. the song oh, yeah. and then all the other stuff mm -hmm. that went on with it. I thought, okay. Okay, now well, I really like him. I mm -hmm. think he's great. Right, yeah. And then he's that cross between Ed Sheeran and Eminem. Yeah, yeah. You know, he wants to be. I don't know about Eminem, that, but okay. yeah, Ed Sheeran. He for sure. calls himself actually. He thinks that he's the white clean rapper. That's what he thinks but he is. But that was rapping that, last night. Oh, but he's he a rapper. That's a what he did on the first, the first song that oh, he did, okay. the Hurt song. He okay. wrote himself too, mm -hmm. and he rapped in that Because this is like the, the second end, round so. that everybody's coming yes. through, exactly. right? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So, yeah, so, but I thought she was amazing. Ooh. So I thought she deserved and the, she bolt, the buzzer Miami. much more than he did. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're actually going to see both of them. He actually was like, is there any more gold in here? Like, he tried to do it again, but it was too late. But It was. It was night and day between the two of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mayor was two different singers. Do we know when the live shows start? when we get to vote because we get to vote right i'm not yeah we yeah. do eventually it's I'm gotta be sure. soon jeez I hope so. i'm ready to, i'm <laughs> hashtag team yoli all uh, day yeah. yeah she's awesome all yes. right well up next taking a local issue to the national spotlight we're going to chat with a woman who's working from across the world to make a difference right here in jacksonville that is coming up next